Okay, uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Joey Steven. I am here as an authorized draft uh, talking on behalf of the Student Herald for an immigration session, non commercial. We do not talk about the costs for migrating to Canada, but we talk about options available for you uh, for permanent residents. My goal here is to uh, try and um, create an understanding on what the options are. Uh, the different approaches to permanent residence um, and what you should be uh, looking for when you're applying. Okay, so um, it probably will be done in an hour and a half. Uh, I don't go with a script, so please feel free to ask me questions uh, as we uh, you know, tread along. Um, but we'll try to um, do our best to finish this by around at least latest by 4 o'clock. Um, are everybody here temporary residents? Yeah. Any permanent residents? Yeah. We have permanent residents that are coming for a recent sessions because some of them want to know what uh, the options are. We'll talk a little bit about uh, Ontario, okay, and uh, we'll also discuss genera genera generally about other provinces. We'll talk a little bit about BC as well. Okay, BC is a new uh, PNP uh, option opportunity which they have released um, a few days back. Uh, the only difference with the BC program is that it is going to be sustained. That means it's going to be there every two weeks. They're going to select candidates under the and and it's not limited just to IT programs. They even have civil engineers, uh, a variety of different uh, categories, but it is job based. Okay, now, don't be afraid of applying for jobs in BC. Right? All you have to do, you see one of the lessons we tell our clients is to just spend two hours, apply for five jobs. Once you sit down and do it, the process starts. Okay, apply for it and leave it. Don't focus on it. You focus on your work, your study and your other opportunities. Many of you just apply for something and then you know, just wait for that to happen. No, you apply for it and leave it. When it happens, it happens, right? And you must understand in Canada, they're always looking for good people. And BC is not a bad province. Okay, so try to. So the category list is there. If you ask your coordinator when they call you on Tuesday, they will send you a category list for BC. And then you will be in a position to, a lot of categories are there in the BC uh, uh, province. So you can uh, look at it, it's employer, um, uh, that means work permit based, that means they must, uh, the employer must give you a, must interview you and give you a job offer, okay? It is not LMIA, you don't have to go through the LMIA process, okay? It's not LMIA. <coughs> the second thing is, even if the employer wants to give, say for example, your work permit, uh, your, uh, uh, your PGWP is expiring, the province will assist in getting your work permit, LMIA, the work permit organized in that case. So all you need to do is to apply based on your job you're doing here. You can say, I'm in Canada, I have this, because you already have Canadian experience. You can use that to try for a job in a different province and it could assist you. Well, it's a, it's a good program. Uh, uh, when I looked at it, it looks like it's a promising program. First of all, it's long term. It's not just one pick and closed. They're going to evaluate it every two weeks. So. It is an opportunity which you just apply. There's nothing wrong being in Ontario to apply for uh, BCPN. There's nothing wrong. All right, you, the, the country is there. You can capitalize on all the opportunities. So, so try to uh, do that. 